Tech Fed Tech, welcome back to my channel. Today you're learning how to go from this to this. Look at that. I'm going to show you how to use both Apple Motion as well as Adobe After Effects combined to stabilize very complicated, very tricky hyperlapses. If you want to learn how to hyperlapse, you can watch any of my over 12 tutorials up here. But what I wanted to talk about first is why would I share this knowledge? Well, first of all, if I don't do it, maybe someone else will. Secondly, I love sharing knowledge and I love helping people. And more and more people are tagging me on Instagram and on YouTube, sharing their results with the stuff that they've learned from me, which is absolutely bloody fantastic. And also I have got a new Hyperlapse course out as well as a free ebook, but more about that later. Let's begin. Let's have a quick look at what are the issues here. This sequence straight out of camera, as you can see, is extremely wobbly. Why? Well, I shot it at a medium focal length from a moving boat on the ocean or in the sea. I don't think it's an ocean over there. That's Mount Vesuvius, the volcano next to Napoli or Naples in Italy. As you can see straight out of camera, quite the wobble indeed. And usually I would go straight to After Effects and apply the warp stabilizer on it. But this gave me some results that really weren't as good. So I kept trying and I tried the manual motion tracker, which took me a very long time. And I tried to mask out stuff, everything I teach you in my hyperlapse course, all the advanced levels of stabilization, none of them actually worked on this sequence, which I thought was such a shame because it's such a beautiful shot. And then I was like, hmm, there's got to be a stabilizer built in into Apple Motion, which by the way, costs less than 50 bucks as a standalone app. Think about it. I loaded in there, I applied the stabilize effect and pretty much have my mind blown. I keep trying to nest the sequence and reapply it the way I do it in After Effects, but that doesn't work. So what I did is I applied the stabilized motion effect and then I applied the warp stabilizer effect on the rendered video that came out of motion. And what we have is a almost flawless sequence. All that was left to do was deflickering it. So let me run you through how this works. As you can see, we have our sequence here. I color graded these raw files and exported them to the JPEG sequence that you have on screen right now. I create a new project in motion using the pixels of the photo. So 6,000 by 4,000 pixels. Make sure the pixels are square, not one and a half because you'll get a weird aspect ratio. And I also set the project length to the number of frames or the number of photos that I've got. All you're gonna do is drag those photos into the timeline and then go to motion tracking and select the stabilize button, then hit analyze. As you can see, it analyzes quite quickly and you end up with a sequence that is pretty good. Now, all you gotta do now is export that to a high resolution, high quality codec ProRes file, import that into After Effects and then apply the warp stabilizer on top of that. Then I created a new composition with that composition to add a deflickering plugin on there, flicker free, which I talk about in this video here. And the end result compared to what came out of camera, compared to trying just to use After Effects, compared to the end result is mind blowing, right? Pretty darn exciting. I've already gotten quite a few messages about me messing in motion on Instagram because I teased it on my stories. And if you make anything cool, please tag me in it at Matt Joe's online. And yeah, I just wanted to share that I've got a new module available out of the ultimate time-lapse course. I've taken all the hyperlapse videos, planning, shooting, editing, post-processing, advanced methods, stabilizing, whatever you need to know about hyperlapse photography, how to create world-class hyperlapses. That is now available as a separate video course, including the full ebook, including discount codes for LR time-lapse, including access to the time-lapse community on my platform and so much more. So the value here is pretty ridiculous. Check it out. And if you want to learn how to hyperlapse, I've also got a free ebook, The Basics of Hyperlapse, available down below as a freebie for you. So yeah, that's it. Any tutorial requests, let me know. And in the meantime, may your skies be filled with fluffy clouds.